Hello everyone, this is Abbebe Chukala from IHG Delft. This lecture video describes the protocol for analyzing the productivity and other performance indicators in agriculture. The protocol uses Vapor datasets and Jupyter notebooks in Python. Vapor-based performance indicators can be calculated using the Jupyter Notebooks in Python script. To do the Vapor-based analysis, the Weather Accounting Group at IG Delft has developed a standardized protocol which can be downloaded from the Weather Accounting GitHub repository. This protocol provides Jupyter Notebooks in Python which can be used to calculate land and water productivity and other performance indicators such as uniformity, efficiency, adequacy, relative water deficits as well as estimate productivity at a project area. The protocol is tailored to biophysical water productivity with respect to consumed water use and land productivity at an areas in similar agroclimatic zones. It can be applied to single water management unit and crop production regardless of the water sources, example from exclusively rainfall or irrigation, which is argumented through surface water and or groundwater. It can be also water sources and irrigation from flood or what we call it spate irrigation. The protocol is developed for agricultural areas with a single crop and same cropping season, which can vary between years. Implementing the protocol beyond fields or scheme level, such as at river basin and country levels, which could fall in different agroclimatic zones require normalization for climatic variation. And this is, in fact, outside the scope of the protocol. The protocol targets project leads, irrigation managers, and researchers who have a basic understanding of Python, irrigation, and agricultural practices. There are minimum version requirements of Python and libraries or packages such as Pandas, GDAL, PyShape required to run this protocol. Information related to installation procedures of Python, Jupyter Notebooks and libraries can be referred from the readme file in this GitHub repository. The protocol has six modules. Module zero helps to download the vapor data. Module one preprocess the vapor data. Module two calculates the seasonal water consumption and net primary production. Module three helps to calculate performance indicators. Module 4 calculates land and water productivity. Module 5 identifies bright spots and calculates productivity gaps. The six modules that make the protocol are coded in Python and they can be executed in Jupyter Notebook, which can be downloaded from the GitHub repository of Water Accounting group at IG Delft. To work with the protocol, first the folder consisting of the modules need to be downloaded from the GitHub repository. At this file is in zip format, then to work with the protocol, the folder has to be unzipped. Jupyter Notebook needs to be launched to run the modules. The Jupyter Notebook can be launched in two approaches. 
the first one is to navigate to the directory of the notebooks in the WAP or WP slash master folder. That's possible either using Anaconda prompt, which is recommended, or command prompt and then press enter key after typing the phrase Jupyter Notebook. Alternatively, and the second option, which is the simplest one, is to type Jupyter Notebook in the address bar of the folder that consists of the whole modules files and then press enter key. The program will start a local server at a local host and which look like the one that you see here in the slide. After Jupyter Notebook is launched, folders and files are visible and can be accessed. The two important folders are data and notebooks. The folder named notebooks contains the modules, the Jupyter Notebooks in Python that helps to download vapor data and perform the analysis. The folder name data contains the user-defined input files and it is the folder where downloaded vapor data as well as the calculated data will be saved. There are three user-defined input data in this protocol. The first one is the shape file of the project area and the second one is the crop coefficient KC and the third one is the start and end dates of the crop season. When the protocol is downloaded it comes with a default data for a case study called Cinevane. And there is also a TIFF file which is derived from this shape file, which is as a result of running part of module one. And also the download folder consists downloaded data, again, based on this shape file, Cinavana. It's downloaded because module zero is executed. And then it has also Excel files, which is generated as part of running module two. If one want to run the Jupyter notebooks for a new project area, its shapes, shape file need to be copied into the directory of uh, or into this data folder and then its name has to confirm the name in the module 0 The notebooks folder has six modules, which are a Jupyter notebook in Python and named from module zero to module five. Module zero is used to download the vapor data and it has three main steps. It starts importing modules library and then read geographical extent of the study area. Finally, download the vapor data. If one wants to run the Jupyter notebook for a new project area, its shape file need to be copied into the directory of the data folder and then accordingly the name of the shape file has to be changed in this module module 0 module 1 is used to pre-process the vapor data and it has three steps 
import module or libraries, resample raster data, and then finally filter the non-cropped area. Module 2 is used to calculate seasonal water consumption and net primary production using vapor data. It has three steps. It imports module library and data, also creates an uh, output folder in the data folder to save the calculated results, define function, and then finally calculate the seasonal water consumption in net primary production. Module 3 is used to calculate performance indicators, and it has five steps. It starts setup that imports the module library, import data, and also creates output folder in the data folder where the calculated result to be saved. And then followed by calculating the performance indicators, that is uniformity, efficiency, adequacy, and relative water deficit. Module four is used to calculate land and water productivity, and it has three steps. Start with setup, and then calculate land productivity, which is biomass and crop yield, and finally calculate productivity, which is biomass water productivity and crop water productivity. The final module, module five, is used to identify bright spots and calculate productivity caps. It has four steps. It starts with setup, and then calculate target productivity, search, identify bright spots, and force calculate productivity caps. The modules should be executed sequentially as each module output is required as input to the succeeding module. In the download folder, since module 0 is already executed, then all the data to run module 1 are ready. So in the download file, module 0 is executed for a case at Sinavana, Mozambique, and then the module 1 to 5 will be demonstrated in the lecture video based on the downloaded data for Sinavana. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture video. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture video.